Good day, good day, royal fans. Welcome back to another royal installment. The queen has lost yet another member of her beloved brood. After her prized pooch Vulcan, a doggy died last week, leaving Her Majesty with just one remaining canine friend. The death is likely to come as a blow to the head of state, who is known for her love of dogs. Royal experts Omid Scooby and Maggie Rooley reflected on the loss and how it would impact the already isolated sovereign, who has had a difficult month. Mr. Scooby explained the Queen would not be taking on any more pets in her old age. He said, It has been a difficult month for the Queen. She recently lost one of her two dogs, Vulcan, who is a doggy. Another one passed away in November, Buckingham Palace sources confirmed. Of course, as we know, the Queen has not been taking on new pups like she once did when she had a huge pack around her. The group is getting much smaller, so she is now left with just one remaining animal, which is Candy. Mr. Scooby went on to explain the Queen loves her dogs, adding that to see her keeping a smile on her face in the face of adversity was very encouraging. Co-host and commentator Maggie Rooley said, It is a good point. It is a very tough time for everyone right now, and especially for older people as well. To know that the Queen is going to be more isolated this year, to know that she has lost a dog, it might be rough. Mr. Scooby went on to highlight Her Majesty falls into the at-risk group of people who are most vulnerable to the COVID-19 virus. He said the Queen's age meant she would be one of the first people in the country to be vaccinated against the disease, which has claimed more than 63,000 lives in the UK alone. Referring to the monarch's Christmas plans, he said, In the meantime, she will remain socially distanced and somewhat isolated. I did check in with some royal sources to see if she would be seeing any members of the family over Christmas. And sources do say that Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, although they will be at high growth for Christmas Day, do plan to see the Queen and Prince Philip over the Christmas period. Like many elderly Britons, the Queen will be forced to scale back her Christmas plans this year due to government coronavirus restrictions. A brief break in restrictions between December 23rd and December 27 will enable families from up to three households to come together in groups of up to eight people to form a bubble over the festive period. The Queen would usually spend the Christmas holiday at her lavish Sandringham estate in Norfolk, but this year will be having a quiet back affair in Windsor with husband Prince Philip. It is the first time in 33 years the monarch has spent the holiday alone with her beloved spouse. Yeah, so not so jolly news this Christmas for all of us, I'm afraid. But still, good news nonetheless. I'm sorry to hear about the Queen's loss. Thank you for watching today's installment, guys. Please like, comment and subscribe and tune in later for more royal news. Goodbye for now.